Chapter 10 Statistics Introduction In statistics, we use picture graphics, bar or column graphics to represent particular data. Picture graph helps a layman to understand the data very well. From the very beginning, when we start teaching a child, we use pictures because they are easily understandable. From the above pictograph, we can easily find out number of players in each game. Sometimes it may happen that quantity is too much that it becomes difficult to draw so many pictures and to count them. Sometimes we use column graph to represent some data. For example, the following table shows how 36 people get to their office. Method of transport, bicycle. Number of travelers, 13. Method of transport, bus. Number of travelers, 7. Method of transport, car. Number of travelers, 2. Method of transport, scooter. Number of travelers, 4. Method of transport, on foot. Number of travelers, 10. We can replace column graph by line graph. Pi diagrams. It is another method to represent the data. In circle, a circle is divided into sectors by drawing radii. Number of sectors are same as number of items. To draw pi diagram, we divide the circle into different sectors with suitable degree of angle depending upon the given data. Example, draw a pie diagram to represent the data, number of items, letters, name of the items, letters, number 80, name of the item, postcards, number 50, name of the items, parcel, number 40. Total number of items are 80 plus 50 plus 40 which is equal to 170. Letter. Central angle is equal to 80 upon 170 multiplied by 360 which is equal to 169.4 which is equal to 169 approximately. Postcards. Central angle is equal to 50 upon 170 into 360 which is equal to 105.8 which is equal to 106. Parcels. Central angle is equal to 40 upon 170 into 360 which is equal to 84.7 which is equal to 85. 